So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. It is a really nice day here in Tennessee. The rain is finally over, at least till tomorrow. We're getting one day of decent weather before the rain comes back. So we're gonna make the most of it. We're gonna head down to the log yard and bring up some of that pine that's been down there way too long, do some flail mowing and try to clean the place up. Then we'll come up here to the mill and saw up a log that I think is gonna be pretty special. So we're up here behind the sawmill and that's where that fence was that we cleaned out about two weeks ago. And I'm staging my logs up here just temporarily so I can clean up the log yard and get it mowed down. It's a mess down there. And hopefully by doing this, I'll have to see these logs every day when I come up here to the mill and I'll get them sawed up and put on stickers. Everything down there needs to be either sawed up or salvaged for firewood. I got a bunch of red oak, a little bit of white oak, a decent amount of white pine, a little bit of cedar I forgot I had, that's a shocker a really, really big black walnut log. That one's gonna be exciting. We might do that one for Christmas. And a good sized cherry. And I've got another good sized cherry up here beside the sawmill I forgot about having also. First thing I need to do is start up to 754, get it warmed up. And I got three white oak logs right there behind you guys. I need to grab first and clear out this road. Then we'll go get the pine. remember this log or not this is an old white oak I had to split open because it was a little too big for the sawmill about a month ago we sawed up half of it this is the rest of it see if we can get a decent little purchase on this one get it up to the mill or the log yard rather uh, we move over just a little how we do on there. You want this little chunk is hard to grip. I think I got it though. A log would be a lot easier to grab. Well, so far so good. If you guys don't care, let me know if I start dragging the ground up there. I think I'm okay. All right, that went pretty good. Let's go grab another one. Let me check the size of this one here. Looks like maybe a nine footer. No? Well, almost nine feet, eight to about eight inches. What are you hollering about over there? Those goats holler all the time. I don't know what's going on over there. This is a nice white oak log, friends. This came from a cow pasture over in Virginia. My buddy Bob I bought it off him. He owns a sawmill just over the state line. And uh, we may end up quarter sawing this one. 30 inches on the large end, down here on the small end, 24 inches. There we go. Tell you what. That's a heavy one right there. Better be careful with this one. I think on this one, I'm going to go ahead and just put it in front of the sawmill. That way I don't have to carry it around no more. All right, here's the last one. And I think this is the second cut on that white oak tree. So this is the log right above the first log we just took up there. Nice log, nowhere near as heavy. Got some large knots on it though. Go ahead and set this one near this half log out of the way. I was thinking I need to make some raised beds for the garden. That would be a good use for that log since it's got so many large knots on it.
right, friends, finally got some of this pine moved up here. Some of these I'm not sure about. We'll throw them on the sawmill though and see how they do. I've got a lot more to bring up here, but that's a decent amount to start with. Over here in the middle, I got some more red oak. That one out there in the middle has got a pretty large hole in it, but I think we'll get some boards out of it. Right there, we got the white oak we just brought up. And right here in the middle, this is gonna be pretty special right here, I believe. A nice cherry log with a giant crotch right there at the top. So according to the weatherman, and they're always right, you know, we're supposed to get one inch of rain tomorrow. Looky there. We've got mama up here with us today, the hatefulest cat on YouTube. But we're supposed to get one inch of rain. And if it rains that much tomorrow on top of all this mud we already have, it's gonna be a week before this dries out. Maybe even Christmas before it gets dry up here. So let's get in the 574 real fast and get the flail mower going and we'll clean up that area that the pine logs were at. So at least it starts looking a little bit better down there. Here's the mess that is left over after the logs are out of here. I got a ton of bark on the ground. No problem there for the flail mower. And it looks pretty nasty down here. Got some thick weeds, a lot of bark over here actually. But the flail mower, well, hey, Blue, there's Blue the cat with us today. He's the troublemaker. But a lot of people ask me about that flail mower and how good does it do? I have ran bush hogs in my life. I've ran a uh, forestry mulcher on a skid steer before. And even though the flail mower is not as good as a uh, forestry mulcher, of course, it does a pretty good job, guys. I've ran it on the bark that's laying on the ground left over after these logs get moved and it grinds it up with no problem. It does a really good job. I was pretty impressed with how it done up there at the sawmill on that fence line. But there's a lot of stuff in here, piles of bark and just thick grass and a lot of mud actually, just some nasty stuff. And you'll be surprised at how good that flail mower does. friends here's the deal i spent longer than i planned on moving logs around today and the day got away from me and it's already six o'clock and i gotta head to dinner in about 30 minutes so we'll pick this up tomorrow morning before the rain starts and try to saw this one up before it gets bad outside i know what you're thinking you're covered up what's it matter if it rains well my control station that i have down here at the end of the sawmill is actually uncovered 
and I don't want to get that thing wet. That wouldn't be a good idea right there. I guess I'll see you guys back here in the morning. Everybody have a good night, and we'll see you in just a minute.